Hi, I'm Selena Ward, so I'm the coordinator of the Marine Conservation Course. So we hope to build on the learnings from the previous courses that you will have studied. Ours is in January, so you will have had a whole semester by then. And we want to put what you've learned into a marine context. So there are unique things about conservation in marine ecosystems. We have an unashamed bias for coral reefs in this course because we're visiting a coral reef and we'll do our field work there. So we'll be learning a lot about the way reefs operate, the processes there and the particular challenges and vulnerabilities of the system. So the staff, there's me as the coordinator. So I'm a coral reef biologist. I've been working a lot on the early life history stages of corals, how they're affected by um, anthropogenic stresses. Professor Peter Mumby is a big name in coral reef ecology. He's done extensive work in the Caribbean and the Great Barrier Reef. He works a lot on coral algal interactions and um, coral reef resilience. Associate Professor Greg Skilleter works a lot on intertidal zones and rocky reef shores, so he'll bring a different perspective. So we're going to start right away by going into the field for seven days. So we're going to visit Heron Island on the southern end of the Great Barrier Reef. So this is a beautiful place. And if we zoom in, you see the island here. It's about two hours offshore via a catamaran. It's an ideal place to study coral reefs. The University of Queensland owns Heron Island Research Station, which is really the premier marine research station in the country. It houses about 120 people and it has fantastic facilities. It's also ideal because the island is surrounded by this reef flat. So at low tide, you can get out there and you can talk about what you're seeing on the reef flat without having water in your mouth and that sort of thing. And you can do really good survey work there. On the high tide, you can swim out there. It's a really good and safe place to snorkel. So this is the view of the island from the edge of the reef flat. You can see there's a lot of coral growth on the reef flat. There are sandy beaches too, beautiful places to swim. This is the north end of the island. And along this stretch, we get a lot of activity with sharks and rays. It's a great place to swim. You'll become familiar with the wreck this is the opening to the channel where the ferry comes into the island. This was placed there to stop erosion many, many years ago. So this is the research station. You can see the solar panels on the roof here. It's big, covers a lot of area. On the island also, there's a resort and there's a national parks office, but that's all. The teaching facility has a computer room come library a seminar room and two teaching dedicated labs, which is along this block here. And this is the kitchen, vitally important area where we get fed. These are some of the sorts of activities that we'll be doing on the island. Survey work on the reef flat, photo transects at high tide. This is a coral physiology laboratory that we'll be doing. And this is one of the teaching labs where these students are, are doing a diversity exercise looking at all the animals in the rubble, which is huge fun. Now January is the perfect time to be at Heron Island. It's the time when the birds are nesting. So at this time of the year we have around 100,000 of these birds, the white cap noddies. You can see the, the chicks in the nests at this time of year. It's also a great time for looking at the turtles and really understanding the sorts of issues facing turtles in these areas. In January, the turtles are still coming up the beach to lay their eggs and the hatchlings are coming out of the eggs. So it's the ideal time when you get both things happening. So what will we do there? So at Heron Island, we'll have lectures that will hopefully make us understand how reefs work, what corals are, how they work, the processes involved in reefs, and the very particular challenges facing them. So we'll do a whole lot of exercises that will show us how we monitor and survey reefs. And we'll look at measures of, of health in corals, so our coral physiology exercise, looking at the real basics of how corals work and how they're functioning. We'll do a range of survey techniques, such as manta towing with a board behind a boat, 
um, you'll do plankton trawls, you'll do different uh, transect surveying techniques and learn about which ones we answer which sorts of questions. We'll learn some coral identification, we'll learn about coral disease, how to find it, what it is. Um, and uh, we'll do a diversity laboratory as well. In that one week, we'll do research projects too. So everything that we do in these activities will be generating a data set. So it'll be very applied. But we won't be analysing on the island. So we're going to spend our week getting in the water as much as we possibly can while we're there. So when we get back to Brisbane for those last few weeks, we'll have lectures. Now what we'll do is tie in all the material that you learned at Heron Island and see how that applies to conservation theory marine park management, marine park planning, that sort of thing. The data sets that you've collected, we'll analyse those, we have a statistician working with us and we'll write reports on those data. We want this to be a really interactive course, so we'll do a lot of workshopping, discussion sessions, that sort of thing.